ma'am, who's digging the hole. Oh my, oh my, oh my goodness. Ma'am, hey, just, I'm standing right here. Boom, what, what? <laughs> there, there they are. Anything else? Anything else? <laughs> I love you too, good morning. Say good, wonderful, beautiful, boop. Morning, audience. Oh, you're gonna boot back. She's gonna boot back. Oh my goodness. Good, wonderful, beautiful morning, what? audience. Oh, you can't step on the Kira. Kira ain't gonna put up with that. Kira's like, don't step on me. I will take you out, puppy. I take you out. Good morning, Memphis. He's come running down the hallway. You were you were napping in the office. You were all comfy on your bed, and you're like, I'm gonna come down here and see what's going on. What is going on today? Oh, look out. She's a feisty little one. Look at this mess in here. <laughs> Or do you want to tell them? Do you, don't step on Kira. You tell her, Kira. Kira's like, stop stepping on me. It's rude. Uh oh. Wow, all kinds of feistiness today. Say, well, today, like every day, we got to do the three, two, one. Three, two, one. Oh my goodness. Ready? Go! Dun, 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 dun. Look at the snow all along the fence has melted. It was sunny just a little bit ago, but it already went away. It's supposed to be 40 degrees today. I don't know. If that sun doesn't peak out, I think it'll stay cold. This morning when we got up, it was nine. Run, Kira, run! Oh, look at Eleanor kicking up them rooster tails. Hi! Boop, hello! She's like, all right, I'm gonna go run and do crazy zoomies and it will be great. All right, you guys play out here for a few minutes. So you guys may have noticed this sitting in the corner of our living room. Today's video is being sponsored by our friends at Ecovac. This thing is really cool. So this is the DeepBot T10 Omni. I will put some links for this down in the video description below. And it is a vacuum cleaner, but it is also a mop. No joke, it's a mop as well. So it vacuums and it mops and it empties itself and it does a lot of really cool things. I've used it for a couple of days now because I wanted to kind of figure out how it worked before I showed it to you guys. When I get the dogs back in here, we're gonna show you guys how cool this thing is. This just might be taking Jamie's job. It took his job. All right, are you ready for this? We're gonna play with the new robot vacuum cleaner. Right now we're just gonna use it as a vacuum cleaner so you can kind of see the before of what everything looks like. We're gonna let this thing do its thing. What do you think? I haven't fully mapped out the house with it just yet, so it might not do the most perfect job, but it's learning. It's a learning robot. It has to kind of learn where it can go and where it can't go. And then of course, dog noses boop it and it turns around. Let's get it start going. Vacuuming. It's gonna start vacuuming. Here's the best part. Eleanor's like, what? 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 It's vacuuming? It's vacuuming, honey. If you guys stand in front of it, it's not gonna know what to do. But it's really fun. Is it really fun? You notice how it didn't run into them though. No, you can't. I might have to take you guys out of here so it can properly vacuum. You don't even care, do you? You're like, that thing's kinda cool. So again, right now it is just vacuuming. It is not mopping. But uh, I'm gonna let it go for a little bit and see what, oh look at that, it came up on that rug with no issue. Eleanor, could you quit booping the vacuum? Quit booping the vacuum! She's trying to grab, she's trying to grab the little things on the side of it. <laughs> oh, look at that! It fits behind the couch. Whoa, that's kind of cool. And it came up on this rug, which this is the rug I was most worried about. This rug here is a little bit of a lip as well, but this rug is one of those washable rugs, so sometimes you can kind of see where it curled up right there. Sometimes it does that, so. We're just gonna let it do its thing. It's on the main rug now. That's the real test. It's how well it can do there. <laughs> the dogs are very interested in it. By the dogs, I mean these two. Memphis could care less. But these dogs are like, whoa, what is this? Now, I will say, there is a lot of fur on the, on the rug right now because we didn't do anything before this. I wanted to see how good it would do. If this was vacuuming every day, it's definitely gonna look a lot different than what it's doing right now. And I wonder how long it's gonna take for that bin to get full. It's supposed to know when the bin's full and then I guess it goes over there and empties it. So we'll see if it does that. It's having a good time on the rug. 
So in the app, I was able to change it to max suction mode, which of course will use the most battery power, but the difference it's already made in getting the fur off the carpet, that's pretty cool. Eleanor is very interested in Eco. Do you like Eco? Do you like eco robot? So while it's vacuuming, I want to point out that it does have the mapping, as I mentioned before. It hasn't mapped out our entire house yet, but it will. I love that it has the object avoidance. If you notice, it doesn't like fully run into stuff. It kind of senses that it's there before it actually hits it. It does have the vacuum cleaning system that has multiple different modes. You can see that in the app. You can have it set to just vacuum or you can have it set to mop and vacuum. One of the other things that I thought was really cool is it actually has a front facing camera on it and you can record clips from your vacuum cleaner. The clips that you're seeing right now were recorded from the vacuum cleaner and it has two way audio. So you can talk through the vacuum cleaner to your pets, which I don't know. I just thought that was kind of cool. So I want to show you guys real quick the difference in the sound in the vacuum power because there's four different modes. Let me show them to you real quick. So this is the quiet mode and then that's the standard mode. That's the max mode and then the max plus mode. So of course that's the loudest and quiet is the quietest. There's also two different modes for mopping as well. There's a standard and a deep clean. So while it was vacuuming, I got a phone call, but oh my goodness, that did pretty good. Now, I don't know if you heard me say in the beginning of this, we hadn't vacuumed this rug in two days, so there's quite a bit of fur on it. Wow, I'm impressed. And look, now it's in there charging. Did it empty itself? Look it! So I just opened it up and pulled it out because I wanted to see it empties itself! Oh my gosh, that's high. That's so cool. Hold on, I gotta put your lid back on. I think this took your job. I think it did. Let's so see. we figured out the bin so we can pull the bin out. Okay, and that just slides right down in that little yeah. hole. Yeah. Uh -huh, definitely. That's some fur pretty in it. full. Mm. Wow, and it empties itself. That's kind of cool. So it goes in there and it empties itself into the bag, and then you can empty out the bag, put the bag back. Eleanor thinks it's great. Yeah, you like that? So we're gonna let it charge, and then uh, we're gonna try the mop feature. I'm gonna pick up yeah, we'll have to pick the up little the rugs. Yeah. I'll leave the big rug, but right. we'll pick up all the other rugs and we'll let it go ahead and try to do the mop feature yeah, and see how that works. It should go right around this rug. I, it's supposed to, yeah. so we're gonna find out. Wow, I am impressed. Did you know you can talk to it? No. You can say, I think it's, okay, Eco. I'm here. Start cleaning. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you can talk to her. That's kind of neat. And you can tell it to start cleaning, and you can tell it to start mopping, right. and it'll actually start the mopping. <laughs> right now I have it set, set just to vacuum, because I wanted to not have all the rugs down. Right. The dogs are like, it's a new pet. What should we <laughs> name it? Well, I guess its name is Eco. Yeah, it's, it's eco. Oh, he jumped out of the tree. So it did actually warm up a little bit out there and our maple tree is starting to slowly leak sap out of some of the holes that are in it. And there was a squirrel that was out there just munching on maple sap coming out of the tree. Which also means it's gonna be maple syrup time again soon. Hi Memphis. He's like, there was a squirrel guys. I saw it, he was great, I was chasing him. Look at that sun shining through that window. So here's the plan. The girls are having their dinner and I am gonna pick up these rugs. We're gonna put some water in this thing and we're gonna let it mop and see how it does. I wanna see if it actually makes it, if it tries to go on this rug. I, it shouldn't. But we're gonna, we're gonna test that theory. I didn't. I played with the vacuum part of it, but I didn't play with the mop part of it yet. So you guys are experiencing the mop part as I experience the mop part. And we're gonna pick up the rugs. I'm gonna pick up that one in the hallway too. So I'm gonna pick up all the little rugs in the dog beds. Before we mop, we gotta put the mop pads back on. They're actually really easy to do. You just, if Eleanor gets out of the way, push them right on. That's it, that's it. Well, I gotta put two of them on, but they're really easy to put back on and to take off. So we're gonna put those back on. Switch to vacuum and mopping mode. It knows, switch to vacuum and mopping mode. And I have water in the tank. We're gonna try talking to her. Okay, Eco. I'm here. Start mopping. Start cleaning. She's sucking water out of the top and putting it down in the bottom. Of course, the dogs are gonna be super interested in this. We'll see what happens when she fills up. All right, here she goes. Now she's mopping and vacuuming, apparently. Eleanor's like, I'm checking it out still. Still wanna eat the little feet out. <laughs> Here it goes. Oh, a little oh, yeah, the floor's got some water on it. You're gonna have paw 
fingerprints on it. Maybe you guys should come out of here while it's mopping. Oh, it didn't go up on the rug. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty cool. There it goes. Mopping the floor. Mop, mop, mop all day long. It's mopping the floor. So, so as you can see here, it figured out where the rugs are and it did not try to mop the rugs. I wasn't sure if it was going to try to run those rugs over, but watching it back on the security camera, it's not trying to mop the rugs. This is pretty cool. This, I like this. This is pretty neat. So while the mop back is in there doing its thing, you guys could probably hear it in the background. Uh, do you guys remember when we used to have this YouTube channel where we used to show you guys different things that we cooked? I'm making French onion soup, which I have not made and I cannot tell you the last time when, like probably when we worked at the deli, but Jamie's been requesting it. So I'm gonna make onion soup, French onion soup, and I'm gonna try to show you guys how to do it while I do it. So let's, let's go do that. This here, you guys, this is the holy Bible of soups. This is actually the soup cookbook from the deli. And this, this is the most simple French onion soup recipe, but you'll notice it says chop onions, fry in butter, add coke, beef broth, salt and pepper. That's really all that's in our French onion soup besides the melty cheese on top and the croutons. But notice there's no amounts. Yeah, I gotta figure that out. So by my calculations, we're gonna use about three pounds of onions. You can use like a Vidalia onion or a Spanish onion, really anything you want. These are a sweet onion, I believe is what they were, because they were on sale. So we're using those and I have about three pounds here we're gonna cut them up. Oh, cutting onions, and I finally have a kitchen helper. Are you done watching the mop? She's like, I'll come help you instead. Ah, three more to go, oh boy. We got all the onions cut. We got the other best kitchen helper ever in here. And you may notice, I just cut three pounds of onions and there's no tears. Do you wanna know how I did it? You know all those masks you got from COVID? They work great. I usually just put one of those on and then I crack open the window to let some more air flow through. That's it, no tears, cut up three pounds of onions, like nothing. And yes, she's still in here mopping. Now it's hot air drying. So it dries the little pads under there so they don't get stinky. There's actually hot air in there drying the mop pads. It finished mopping. It says it's done. I don't even want to look. This is the dirty water tank. Yeah, some pretty dirty water. You don't want that. We're gonna empty this out. I wouldn't let this sit. I'm definitely gonna empty this out. Wow. That worked out pretty good. The floor looks pretty clean. What do you think, Miss Kira? She's like, I am sunbathing. Leave me alone. Look at it. My Christmas pan is finally being used. I know. Oh, it's hot. I, yeah, don't touch that. Don't touch I'm that. I'm just kidding. I just turned it out. Yeah. Mm, Trying to keep the dog hair out. Um, right? Melt, but there's a lid over here. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. <sighs> Genius. So what are you making? I am making French onion soup because you said you I, wanted French onion soup. I had some in the UP and it was really good. So we'll see if mine's better. I'm sure it's pretty close to the same. I don't know, something that I did notice in their French onion soup there is it was really different. It was like a, like they took a peanut and they, they- A peanut? What yeah, like a, like a, like you, I'm thinking you. <laughs> Like the camera's going that way, I'm getting confused. Right, <laughs> uh, drifting. Yeah. But no, they, uh, slice peanuts in I'm pretty sure it was a peanut but they slice them into little tiny almost like what you would have a, a water chestnut be like in your soup it was in the soup I pulled oh. the little pieces out of the soup and I'm like man I can't taste this this has no flavor but it looks like it's a cooked peanut and then well, slice so it was really weird but yeah butter butter melts when it gets hot there Jess. oh I don't think I said that you need a whole stick of butter oh okay you can use olive oil if you want, because that's what somebody else's recipe said, but who the heck wants to fry onions in olive oil? I was just say, the only thing you have to do is you just gotta make sure that the onions get coated in Yeah, but olive oil, oil tastes totally different than butter. Uh, yes, butter is definitely a lot better. sweeter. It's better. <laughs> it's probably sweeter. Better. It's better with mm, butter. Butter. So I'm gonna melt onions. all the butter and then I'm gonna fry some onions. Okay. That is the plan. Where's my kitchen helpers? I know, I don't, they, right? They didn't hear the... Stove turn on. They were playing with the mop. Oh. Yeah, they're like, we're playing with the mop. All right, so we had the stick of butter. We're frying the onions down. Basically, you fry the onions until they're translucent. You can see the pan has much less in it now that we fried them down a little bit. That usually takes about 15 to 20 minutes total. All right, so our onions are translucent, and now we're doing eight cups of beef stock, which, yeah, this is just water because I use miner's base. So mm -hmm. I put some miner's base in there. 
and then we'll stir all that together to get it nice and hot. But then we need the top secret ingredient. Mm -hmm. Remember what the top secret ingredient is? I do. I'm grabbing do, it. I say, do you have it? I do. Good. Take that deli secret ingredient for onion soup. Coca-Cola. Not that Pepsi stuff, not that RC Cola stuff. One cup, that's good, of Coca-Cola. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and this will make it nice and pretty caramely color. Caramelized onions. Mm, look at that already. It smells amazing. It smells super good. And look, I went as far as even buying the ceramic crocs so we can properly bake the cheese on top. And look, I got real block Swiss cheese over there that we gotta shred. Oh. Because it's better than bag Swiss cheese. Bag Swiss cheese doesn't melt. Woo-hoo-hoo! All right, we gotta shred some cheese now. All right, we got cheese, so you know what that means. Mm -hmm. We gotta pay the cheese tax. Cheese tax. The cheese tax. The cheese tax. Memphis first. Oh, that's that cheeses. And now we give some to Eleanor. Here you go. Got it? Okay. Okay. Let's see him get more. There you go. Okay. But okay. Memphis, there's some in your fur. We gotta go find Kira. Okay. Let's go. Mm -hmm. like, I know what's happening. I was getting cheese. <laughs> Stuff? <laughs> You're a sweetheart. Free cheese. Alright, we paid the cheese tax. Now we can make dinner. For proper French onion soup. You do these little crocs and then go ahead. This one will be yours. Okay, I want mine like this. You're gonna put the croutons in it while you broil it? Yeah. Oh. I don't want mine like that. I want my croutons in it because I don't want them squaggy. Okay. You're gonna put a few in there. Which I guess a lot of people do that, but I don't want mine like that. Um, we should have bought yeah. bigger crocs. Uh, yeah, probably should have. And then you coat it in cheese. Right. And it'll be so delicious. Oh, and now we gotta broil it. Cheese. So while dinner is finishing broiling, I just wanted to walk in here and show you how clean the floors are. Jamie, I think Eco took your job. Cause look at, look at how shiny the floors are. Yeah, I'm impressed. If you guys are interested in getting a vacuum like this, I will put some links down in the video description below. It's really pretty. I like it sitting here in the corner. It's actually really pretty. So next time I gotta remember just buy sliced Swiss cheese, right? Mm-hmm. Cause mine kind of melted and fell in my bowl, which is fine. Jamie's got nice and brown. Though. Mine did, mine worked out pretty Really good. hot. It is really hot, but it, it's really good. It's really good. Sorry, honey, you can't have onions. <laughs> I'm very sorry. Yeah, that was a win. That was a good decision. I'm happy with this. Do you know how I know that it's getting warm out and that spring is here? I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. What, you think I can't see you? You think you're invisible? Oh my gosh, don't touch me with those paws. Look at, there's a paw print. There's a paw print. What is that? Oh All right, let's go back here and show everybody what you did. You get her, Kira. You tell her that you're bad. I saw you, Eleanor. Yeah, it's all muddy. I probably should have put my boots on. So what are we doing back here, huh? We just filled in a hole. What we got here? A giant hole. And if it's, oh my gosh, look at it all over on the snow. That's how far she flung this dirt. Ma'am, who's digging the hole? Oh my, oh my, oh my goodness. Ma'am, hey, just, I'm standing right here. Um, no, get out of the hole. No, this is Memphis. <sighs> Eleanor, who taught you how to dig like a champion? I think it was Kira. <sighs> now I gotta fill in this hole. Oh, and the mud puppies. Mud puppies, mud puppies, mud puppies. All right, Memphis, let's fill in. Oh my gosh. Fill in the hole so you can dig the hole again. What is going on with you? Zoom, zoom, back to the hole, back to the hole. Nope, nope, all right, out of the hole. Go, get out of the hole. Well, she flung the dirt way out here, but I managed to fill in the hole. See how long it takes her to try to dig out that one again. Oh my goodness. The weather needs to figure out what it's doing. Is it winter? Is it spring? Whatever it is, it needs to figure it out. I have fun. Oh man, 
Don't you dare go back in that hole. I like how every once in a while she turns around to see how close Kira is to her. Memphis is like, hmm, hi. <sighs> you happy dogs. All right, I think you've washed off your muddy feet. Come on, let's go inside. Come on, inside, let's go. Come on, you too, ma'am. Let's go, go inside. Kira's like, I'll go inside, this puppy's picking on me. She's picking on me. All right, come on. Eleanor, come on, let's go. Memphis is like, yeah, me. This is the door, let's go in the door. <laughs> Ma'am, I could just hang out here on the floor with you for like hours. I feel like we could just set the camera right here and have a nap session, have a moment of napping with Memphis. And you guys would just watch Memphis nap. She's not gonna fall asleep because I'm talking. She's like, hmm, mom, why is the camera in my face? Cause you're cute, look at you, you're adorable. I was like, eh. Camera's still on my face, I'm not going to sleep. I love you, you're so dang cute and snuggly. Can I snuggle with you? Can I use you as a pillow? I think I said that the other day. You make a pretty good pillow. Oh, she's falling asleep. Slowly but surely, it's gonna happen. All right, I'll leave you alone. All right, so Miss Kira's in there snuggling with Dad. These two girls are snuggling in here with me. I just went and let my brother's dog out. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and call it a night. I think that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna go ahead and call it a night. So we hope you guys enjoyed today's video as always. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. Good night, audience. You with your dirty little paws, you dirty little digger with your dirty little paws. I know it was you. Well, I love you anyway.